So who's, who still can't ask for help? <laughs> no. Oh, come on. She needs help raising her hand. Yeah. <laughs> That's very good. All right, and who's... She's about, like, like you said, no one helps, no help, but she do not want to ask I love them. <laughs> <laughs> they go back and forth with like the biggest smiles on their face. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that Thai commercial. So funny, I know. Oh, so you suck at folding laundry. That one. That's very funny. All right, and who's, who's really good at asking for help? I've learned to be good. All right, so teach somebody. Okay, here I am. Well, she, Melissa. She's probably trying to teach me, but it's not working. <laughs> Melissa, if there's anything you need, let me know. I'm here to help you. That's well, I heard it from an IRS man one time, too. <laughs> that didn't work out too well, either. <laughs> no, you just, I think you have to be specific in what you want. In the beginning. Okay, but, but this is what people say, right? If you need anything, let me know. Too general. Right? So then tell me, so what do you say back to me? I let you know exactly what So you tell me. Uh, I need somebody to go to the grocery store. Here's my list. Okay. And here's my charge card. <laughs> That's all. I need five minutes to myself sometimes. Just come over. Right. No. Nothing wrong with saying I need. That's right. and, and like I've said countless times to people, and all of you have been on the other side, I'm sure. Everybody wanting to support somebody else. You know, somebody in your neighborhood, somebody you care about, a family, a friend, you know, there's, there's an illness, there's, there's something tragic that happens. You know, our natural instinct for most of us is to go and, and help. And then how nice does it feel you know, the other day, my neighbor needed a ride. I, I took her to the, to the bus. I enjoy doing that. Like, I'm, I was happy to be able to help. And so I, I always say it, and, and for those of you who've heard it, forgive me, but think that you're not only, that person's not only helping you, but you're helping them feel good. Because how difficult is it to see somebody struggling? And even if it's a neighbor, even if it's somebody you just see casually, you know, they see you going in and out. They see that maybe getting to the mailbox takes you a little bit longer than it used to. Or they see that, you know, oh, it's December 5th and, you know, so-and-so doesn't have their Christmas lights up and they always have their Christmas lights up. You know, or, oh, the leaves aren't, you know, blown like they usually are. You know what? It would make people feel good to say, hey, you know. Can you give me a hand while you're out? Of course, my neighbor this weekend was blowing their leaves and left mine exactly on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, hello, I'm here. <laughs> yeah. How much is too much to ask for help? You know, if you only have so many people that you can ask for help. Well, you know, I mean. You, know, you don't want to post all the time. But you know? I, I think people are really good at letting you know when enough is enough. Yeah, I mean, right. tell me if, if anybody disagrees, but I think people will do until they stop calling you. Yeah. And, and, I, and I think, you know, somebody might say, oh, we, I think you can sense when, we, if it's too much, somebody might say, oh, you know, I'm busy, oh, I would love to, but I can't. And you just get a sense. And I don't think, you know, and it could just be a busy time. I wouldn't give up on them. But if people are offering, and I mean, sometimes you're talking about something, something so easy, like going to the grocery store. I'm going to the store. So to pick up extra milk or bread or whatever it is you need is not a big deal. I, you know what, and honestly, like, that makes me feel good to help somebody. Whether they're dealing with health issues or not, it's just, you know, saving somebody a trip to the store. That doesn't even count as a favor. That, that's nothing. You know, I mean, you know, getting up on a ladder and changing somebody's light bulb, it's all of a couple minutes, you know, and, and in the end, you know, you're having some dialogue, and it's, um, it's nice. So I don't, um, does anybody else have an answer? I mean, when is too much? Sometimes the person does too much. Like in where, where we live, Jimmy is the one that was always doing for everybody. Right. Mm -hmm. And they're not realizing that he can't do right. as much as what he used to be able to do. Mm -hmm. You know, he can't do their lawns anymore. He can't right. break their leaves anymore. Right. You know, and so, but I don't know if it's hard for them to reciprocate because they're so used to Jimmy right. doing it. You know, but they're not going to do it themselves either. You know, yeah. they would have some, hire someone right. to come in and do it. Right. Yeah. No. He has to learn his limitations too. Well, I, I think I think 
I think there's some you know truth truth to that as well. But I think it's easier for people to know their limitations when it's done. You know, you, you won't have the urge to rake your leaves if there's no leaves on your lawn. You know, and, and wouldn't it be? I come in the house sometimes. I feel like I ran a marathon. Or something. Yeah, I right. I might have only worked for an hour. Yeah. But yet, you know, I, I get so tired in that right. hour. Right. And around my neighborhood, I feel like the uh, the town trunk because yeah. I got the balance thing where I looked right. like I had a couple martinis walking down the street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I went out to lunch with my friend, and he dropped me off. He had a first aid call, and here I come up the street fall down and crawl and trying oh. to get up. They call the cops. <laughs> I guess they figured a drunk was walking around town. You know? <laughs> and uh, he was all right after I explained to him that, you know, I yeah. had a balance problem. But yeah, it was like, it made you feel right. useless, you know. Right. So you're falling down and you're not even drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, it's, it's true. And the other thing I, I want to just add, you know, you can spend 20 minutes doing the leaves, but that 20 minutes, like you said, will wipe you out. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, you know, when you talk about, again, psychosocial health or, or your well-being, if you've got X amount of energy, is it better to use it raking leaves or is it better using it doing, you know, maybe having an outing with, with your, you know, significant other or, or doing something you really enjoy? You know, that's the other type of thing is it's sort of prioritizing. You know, and it's, it's, like, it's like a time management or a, a you know, um, a health management. You know, and you know that, you know, going on a light bulb, you know, putting a, going on a ladder and putting a light bulb, you know what, that's going to make you tired. It certainly puts you at risk for falling. You know what, let somebody else do the light bulb and that will free you up to do something else. Uh oh, it looks like Melissa's uh, saying I told you so. <laughs> and so many times you tell me, is that what you, how you want to spend your time? Seriously, right. you know. Yeah. Because something fun. Yeah. Right. You can only play so many cars for Christ's sake. Yeah. <laughs> you go to the wall, looks like you've got uh, <laughs> I need somebody to put it in the wall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Any contract is in the room. <laughs> um, I'm, not, I'm not asking for help yet. <laughs> yeah. That's fun. But I, I think that. Um, I think that, that, that it's all fun and, and it's it's. You know, we can laugh about it. The truth is, there are some, some, it's difficult for somebody not to be able to do something. And I think sometimes it's not just the, the physical asking of help, it's the admitting that I need help, which makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, and, you know, that is something that, that's hard to deal with because we all, you know, were perhaps, you know, stronger or able to do more, had more energy, you know, at a different time. And I told Diana, we'll give all my tools away. Mm -hmm. That way I can't start no more projects. Right. Yeah. Well, and that's, and that's something hard, too. It's, it's you know, in, in a lot of ways you talk about, you know, um, grieving, you know, whether it's, you know, grieving after... Um, a diagnosis or, or grieving, you know, a job that's been lost, you know, this is, you know, giving away tools is a loss. It's a loss and admitting of a loss that, you know, something is different and I, I can't do what I, what I used to do or what I want to do. And I think that that's a whole nother, another issue. But um, the important thing is that all of us have supports around us and it's important to be able to tap into those. And, and there's a support that, you know, happens here and it's, you know, more informal, but there's the support from each other and the support that we get from attending the support group, by attending these seminars, by having your family members attend art classes or camps or, or outings. Jesse's doing a great outing over the weekend. And it's really, you know, the goal of this program is just to make things easier, you know, through, um, through the Mammoth Ocean County Brain Tumors Group, Nancy for years has been doing um, Lakewood outings and picnics and, and just things to, you know, let's just have fun together. Let's just socialize because we know how important that is.